Hey y'all, I'm Jen. Welcome back and welcome back to my kitchen. Happy first day of fall. It's official. Fall is finally here. And to celebrate, I thought I would share two slow cooker soup recipes. So I'm just starting by browning up some sliced bacon that I already chopped up. I'm gonna brown that about halfway. Is there anything better than the smell of bacon cooking? I mean, really. All right, so our bacon is about halfway crisp. Now I'm just gonna add some chopped carrots, celery, and onion to soften up. And of course, I will have the exact measurements in the recipe. Link down below so you guys can go and see and check it out. We're also adding one tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're just gonna let this cook for a few minutes until these veggies start to soften up. But by the way, I wanted to tell you guys today's video is exciting because it is part of a big collab put together by Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen. I'll have her channel and the playlist linked down below. A bunch of us are making some really delicious soups today. And like I said, they're all in the playlist for you. So on this first day of fall, you're gonna have the perfect meal inspiration. When you're done watching this video, just check down below for that playlist and you'll be good to go. All right, so now I've just brought our veggies and bacon mixture over to my slow cooker and we're just gonna add those right in. Next to the slow cooker, we're just gonna add four cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of better than bouillon. Next, I'm just gonna add a pinch of black pepper. I'm gonna hold off on the salt for now just because that bouillon and chicken stock is salty. Can always add that in at the end if you need it. Next, we're adding one fourth teaspoon of dried thyme. Next, I have about four pounds of russet potatoes that I've already chopped. I'm gonna add those in. All right, I'm gonna give everything a stir. And this can either cook on low for seven or eight hours. I'm actually gonna cook mine on high for about four or five hours. We want these potatoes to be fork tender. And then we have just a couple more ingredients we're gonna add at the end. Okay, so my potatoes are nice and tender. Now we're just gonna add a couple more things to make our soup really creamy. I'm just adding a half a cup of flour. And to that, I'm just gonna add one cup of milk. Her recipe calls for whole milk. I always buy 2% and it works just fine. All right, I'm just gonna give this a whisk. I'm just gonna pour in that flour mixture. And last but not least, we're gonna add two cups of heavy cream. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. So creamy. I did taste it. It does taste good also. But the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mash some of these potatoes just a little bit. And this step is optional, you don't have to do this, but I kinda like the smaller little chunks in there. And it just makes it a little bit smoother. You can even take an immersion blender and totally blend it up a little bit. I've done that with other potato soup recipes before too. This potato soup was so delicious. I think it might be my new favorite potato soup recipe. All those extra veggies in there just added a little bit of flavor. You really couldn't even tell there was a bunch of veggies in it. I served it with some fresh French bread and it was the perfect fall dinner. slow cooker. I'm just adding about one pound of chicken breast. 
I just have some thinly sliced, so it's about two chicken breasts. Next, we're adding two cups of chicken broth. Next, we're gonna add a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. Next, I'm just gonna add two cans of black beans drained and rinsed. Next, we're adding one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, and this one is with the juice. Next, we're adding one can of drained whole kernel corn. Next, we're gonna add about four ounces of these diced green chilies. Two tablespoons of minced garlic and about one teaspoon of ground cumin. All right, I'm just gonna gently stir the top. My chicken is down there at the bottom and I'm gonna cook mine on high about three or four hours until that chicken is tender because we are gonna end up shredding that with forks. So about three or four hours on high or of course you could do it six to eight hours on low. Once that chicken was nice and tender, I just took two forks and shredded it all up. You could of course just pull each chicken breast out and shred it up that way, but I find it just as easy to shred it up right in the slow cooker. This dinner was my oldest daughter's favorite of the two. Her all-time favorite soup I make is taco soup, so no wonder she loved it. Very similar in ingredients. This one was also very, very good. She actually took the leftovers today in her thermos for her lunch, so perfect for that. We topped ours with a little bit of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and a little bit of tortilla strips, and again, the perfect fall meal. y'all that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for joining me i hope that you will give these two soup recipes a try let me know what your favorite thing is to cook in the fall in your slow cooker and i'll see you guys real soon in the next video bye y'all